Uh, the reason why my tongue is blue, by the way, is because I ate a lollipop that was deep, deep blue, and I miscalculated the time that I was recording this video. So yeah, terrible artists. Now, one thing that this quarantine has taught me is that we got a lot of time in our hands. Why not jump into some things that we can use for when we start picking up? So when the gigs start happening and when the stages are open again, uh, we need to all have our stuff together. So we're going to start today with the organization of your closet maybe some decluttering. I like to be very minimalistic, so if that's not you, that's totally okay. You can do you. Um, some people love to have options. I personally love to have fewer options because I get overwhelmed. So if I need to grab something on the go or I'm usually in a hurry, I like to see only the things that I really, really love and I really, really use so that I'm not confused as to what fits me, what doesn't fit me. I go through a reorganization of the closet every about six months so that I can declutter things that don't fit me anymore or they don't fit my style anymore. So we're going to do that today and I hope that you enjoy it and uh, subscribe right here. Thank you. Let's go. As you can see, it's kind of a disaster at the moment. Uh, some might say this is not a minimalistic closet because I do have a few options, but as an artist, you definitely wanna have a couple of options that are your staple pieces and a couple of options that are your everyday go-tos for auditions or for meetings or for whatnots. So I would say choose a palette of colors that looks best for you and then go from there. So I'm having my morning coffee, still haven't had time to wash my face or put my makeup on, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then uh, we'll be right back to tackle this mess. And this is what I'm donating and giving away. So this is the pile that I had to clean out and yeah, it's looking good. So this is the final result of everything being in its place. And I'm very happy with the result. I put all my wedding dresses in the back, the gowns and all that amazing stuff. And then the things that I run with and then it starts with evening wear and jackets, suits, coats, and the shoes are in line. Everything is right. And I don't have anything hanging on the outside because we don't have any events to go to, unfortunately, this year. So they're tucked away safely, dry cleaned in the back. Um, so yeah, this is the final result. I'm very happy with it. I love having the options for when I need them. I can grab whatever and I know it fits me great. I know I love it and I know that I'm gonna look and feel good in it. So yeah, I don't like keeping stuff in the house that I'm not gonna use. Um, I'm very aware that people around the world maybe don't have um, the opportunities to even buy that many clothes and I love to have just what I need and especially in clothes and I do that with almost every area around the house I try to be very minimalistic we also live in New York so space is limited sometimes and we need to have everything that we absolutely love I use the Marie Kondo technique to uh, sort of, you know, whatever brings me joy, I keep, what doesn't bring me joy, I toss, donate, sell, whatever you wanna do with it. But yeah, I feel like it's very important to just keep the absolutely necessary things that you need and you love. So it's not quite minimalistic, but it is on the way to being minimalistic, if you can say that. 
Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you'd like to follow me on social media, my Instagram is down below and the subscribe button. I'm releasing a bunch of new music this year because we've all been in quarantine. So what else are you going to do? You know, release stuff that you want to release. So if you'd like to keep up with me and keep up with the music, this is the best way to do it. Uh, follow me on all social media platforms and I will be back with more videos. Mm -hmm. ah.